Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let nothing get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Shout out to my whole gang, gang, gang. And also, shout out to my brother, Showtime SP. Uh, shout out to everybody who watched this week in Battle Rap yesterday. I want y'all to know, we are going to continue doing that. It was almost an hour long the other day. Me and him go back and forth. It's not supposed to be nice. It's not supposed to be friendly. We have a heated debate about a lot of the topics that go on in Battle Rap, but that is my brother. And, you know, I'm glad for everything that he brings here. So please understand, we're going to have it out. It's not always going to be great. It's not always going to be, you know, roses and bubbles and shit. But at the end of the day, it's always going to be love. That's my guy. So shout out to Showtime SP. Uh, Briz Rothstein, Calico. Going back and forth, and this might be like the 35th or 40th iteration of this shit. I've seen it a hundred times if one. We did mention in the blog the other day, who would you rather see come back, Shine or Briz? At this point, I'm more so Shine. I, and I like what Briz is able to do. Don't get it. I know. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I think his performance versus uh, Mr. Wavy was one of the better performances in the, um, in the, in the damn volume series, in that small room. You know, you think you entitled Wave? They make a book about your life. They make the title Wave. You know what I'm saying? I thought he did phenomenal. One of the better performers. And, you know, he came up through that Proving Ground class. Another cat that Norbs found. Don't let nobody else tell you. Don't let. Don't let these niggas. Don't let these niggas. Do not let these niggas tell you that somebody else found a lot of this talent. I know for a fact he found a lot of these people. But that's another story for another day. So, and they, they could use the Norbs right now. I'm just going to be honest. This ain't no shot. I ain't hating. But they could use Norbs right now, period. The talent that's coming through ain't the talent that was. And that's all, we could do that on a whole nother day. But, um, so, you know, you got Briz Rothstein hasn't battled in a couple years, you know, him and Calico. Every now and then, it's about annually, there'll be some shots fired back and forth at each other. And we all know, you know, Briz was a member, is a member. I don't know if he is or was, I don't know what's going on. He was with Tay Rock, he was with Cave Gang, I do know that much. Uh, the unfortunate situation happened, you know, where they had the battle and him and T-Top and Murder Mook and them and the fight happened. And everybody else has battled since then, except Briggs. Rock has battled a bunch of times since then. Calico's battling on Summer Madness. Not Summer Madness. Calico's battling on Summer Max out. Rock is battling on Summer Madness. And Briggs has just been an anomaly. You just don't see him anymore. You know what I'm saying? He might pop up with some tweets every now and then and I don't really blog much about him because I don't really like I'm not gonna use his name to get clout but if it's something that's a that's dialogue and it was an argument not an argument or a back and forth I will speak about it but I don't just keep throwing out this dry hope that we can see Briz again we can see if we see him we do if not at this point I'm I'm good you know what I'm saying like I would have loved to see him but we had like almost two three years now and it's kind of like ah so I won't post video for YouTube you know what I'm saying YouTube is YouTube but I got to take you back to where this started and uh, Calico, <laughs> Calico tweeted, you know, he, he's, he definitely gets in his troll bag. I say B word every time I see goods. Why you never talk about this part of the fight? And it was a part of the fight where uh, good gems and goods was on stage. And there was a physical altercation. And, you know, goods like swung on gems. But there's another part where gems kind of like hit goods with like a, like a, I don't know what it was. But anyway, it was a, if you saw the video, you saw the video. You know what I'm saying? So that was the start. So then Goods had posted a video of Cal when they had the little, the little skirmish in one of their battles and where it looked like some mist or some spit got on Cal. And Goods had trolled Cal saying, why you let uh, Ars or whoever's man spit on you and you ain't do nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? So then Cal tweeted, you let the racist ball go in your sh referring to what I aforementioned. Hey, you know, yeah, gyms, you know you're gonna be in bars. I'm just saying, I got no issue with you, you know what I'm saying? I'm not beefing or none of that shit. I'm not trying to like, you know, start on shit. But you're gonna end up in bars. This is the way battle rap is. It's just the way battle rap is. You know how battle rap is, you've been doing this shit for a long time, so you know. So Calico's getting that good saying that you let gyms go in your shit. So then it goes a little bit further. So then uh somebody else had replied to the video. Oh, cause uh Goods posted the video. And then somebody responded. He said, you let a great crip, great street crip spit in your face and you ain't do shit to him. And Briz responded, they never listen and ball still around. You know what I'm saying? Saying the dude that did it. So Cal is definitely gonna take an offense to the things that Briz are saying because he's looking like, I know you ain't talking about me. I know, I, 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 
know for a fact this ain't talking. You are not talking. I ain't seen you in a month of Sundays. You already talk about me on Twitter or Twitter, 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 or is it X? Is it Twitter or X now? I don't fucking know. So anyway, Calico says, you niggas be so lame that y'all can't tell the difference between somebody whooping on your head at an event and me being in between two people screaming at entourage and wiping sweat spit off my face because some mist got on me. Briz, I dove in your sh and you ain't battled since. Nick, just shut up, you traumatized. That's what he said. 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 I gotta work some so all the editing and that, 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 that editing might not go be here. I got shit to do. I'm sorry. I, I, you know, I give you guys service 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all throughout the year. There may be some days where I have to just walk up on the camera and walk it down. You know what I'm saying? I don't have time. You know what I mean? You see it right there. He said, You let somebody go up in your sh and the dude's still around. And then he says, you traumatized. You know what I'm saying? He says, you traumatized. Then he went further with another tweet where he says, I would love to see you come back. It was just a scuffle. You niggas act like somebody got popped or something. Briz says, the biggest return possible. Imagine if me and Rock was returning on the same card from the same hiatus. Boy, you know what I'm saying? Just basically Briz was responding saying that, you know, if him and Rock was on the same card or whatever the case may be. But Cal was just saying, y'all act like somebody got popped or something. And that be that, 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 that. That's the fast edit. I got things to do, so I got to get this uploaded. Um, here's my thoughts, you know what I'm saying? I would have loved to see Briz battle by now. I definitely would have. He would have stood in front of one of those rounds, the Geechee Gotti. You know, seatbelts don't work because you don't ride with your nigga. He would have stood in front of one of them. Everybody would have reacted. It would have got what it got, and it would have been over with. He would have been... If he would have been battling since then, by now, it, it would just be another thing in battle rap. Another Danny gave 12K. Another whatever stories that run with, it would have been just what it was. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, Briz is taking his stance. I've heard, I've heard, just rumors. I have heard just rumors that he was going to battle here, that he was going to battle there. Uh, I think I was talking to Daylight the other day. And he said that him and Briz was supposed to. He said that's what he told me, but you know Daylight be trolling like a motherfucker. So I don't know if that battle was ever booked or not. But at this day and age, Briz is becoming like an anomaly. You know what I'm saying? Like we just don't see him. Like I don't see him. Uh, you know, he's not battling. He's not around. I mean, I heard he's been at a couple events and shit like that. So maybe we'll see him pop out. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully. He would have been a great addition to the summer. I'm not going to lie. He definitely would have been a great development for the summer with all of these cars going on, all of these major events. I thought it would have been good to see him come back, but we're still, here we are, you know what I'm saying, month 55, and there has been no traction in it, you know what I mean? Like, he ain't jumped back on stage, and it might be to a point now where you start to question some of your ability. If you ain't played in the NBA in two, three years, you'd be wondering if you could still hoop. You know what I mean? You take the talent away, I know the talent is probably always still going to be there. And don't get it twisted. I'm a fan of Briz Rothstein. You know, the Mac Browns. I put the body halfway in the bag like hash browns. I'm a huge fan of what he can do. But it just hasn't happened in so long, so I'm kind of like, eh. He might, he might be doing something else with himself. I know he joined the Nation of Islam and things like that. Salute to that. You know, the fruit of Islam, my bad. And he's doing that thing. But at the same time, he de definitely had a core fan base of people who rocked with his content. And love to see him. Battles like Ill Will, battles like Young Ill, battles like Arsenal, battles like Tay Rock, battles like A Verb, battles like Mr. Wavy. I can name 20 Briz Rothstein battles right now that I thought were all either dope or he really put on. Uh, if he's going to battle again, battle. If not, you know, the Twitter going back and forth with people who are actually battling, they're going to definitely be jumping in the bag on you because they're looking like, dog. Oh, you can't tell the difference between metaphors and real rap. Nigga, I ain't seen you in a month of Sundays. Why are you talking about me? Why are you talking about me and I ain't seen you? That's how Cal feel. You looking like, nigga, I was there. I came outside afterwards. Where was you? Where was your and tennis? During all these niggas was bucking, bu 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 bucking. You not bucking back? And I know Briggs had an incident with Mook and they was in like a Wawa or something about a hammer, but like a Tim the Tool Man Taylor. I didn't really get into all of that. I'm just saying. So, if we do see him again, I'd like to. If not, then, you know, so be it. It is what it is. Uh, but, yeah, they went back and forth, and that was that. I see uh, ARP giving a shout-out to Shine. He, he, he going to put on for his fans very soon. Sturdy. <laughs> so, I, like I said, I definitely want to see K-Shine back. This is an ARP tweet going out to K-Shine. 
It's probably in support of Kayshawn. I can't really see Kayshawn being. I know he's not. He's not on max out. I'm telling you that right now. Cat's out of the bag. He's not on max out. Uh, they did announce two other battles for max out. Head Ice versus uh, Show Off. I like that battle. And RX versus QB. Uh, I talked about Show Off and Ice in my last joint. I'll tell you about it. And they're not going to be doing no kind of big drops where all the bloggers are going to have blogs releasing at the same time. We kind of knew that those big name battles were coming out. He's releasing these joints on a whim, like the Show Off and QB. I mean, the Show Off and Head Ice and QB and all right. So you'll get them when you get them. But the big names we kind of knew about. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Imagine a league telling the bloggers who have channels who can promote that we're gonna drop an announcement at five o'clock so you can have your blog already done when the league wins, the blogger wins, the battle wins. But you know, some leagues do that, others just expect you to stop and drop everything you fucking doing. And which is fine, we'll do that too. But trust me, the most effective way for these leagues to get the promotion that they kind of want sometimes is to tell the bloggers. People are gonna know your card anyway. I'm just telling you, we, we know a lot of these cards uh, most of the time, so it is what it is. So, um, yeah, and we'll see. He's saying that we're going to see Shine back. I don't think it's on, um, I, I know it's not on Max Out. If it's on Max Out, it's some shit that I don't even know yet. But we'd love to see him. I told y'all a long time ago, I don't give a shit about no, none of that shit they got going on. I don't care. I just want to see Shine back, you know what I'm saying? But I know certain leagues will have to take their time and, and with that situation because if you book him and he owes this or whatever the case may be, nigga end up in court. Life's too short to want to go to court, right? Um, but salute to everybody. It's now, woof, it is now August, man. This is crazy. I feel like July went by like it was doing 85 and 55. July flew by. So, you know, it's only a couple months left in the year. You can get it together, you know what I'm saying? Uh, put your shit together and do what you got to do. That's for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's your job that you hate. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Trust me. I know. I get it. You know what I'm saying? They might not even see me that much longer. I'm going to be honest with you. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Salute to everybody out there, man. Work, grind, uh, Briz. If we see you back, we do. If not, you know, the online shit, it is what it is. I'm gone. Shoo!